Frosty's Winter Wonderland, the sequel to Frosty the Snowman, which was released seven years prior. It's one of the solo sequels in the main three of Rankin Bass Christmas specials, the other being technically The Year of Outer Santa Claus and the Rudolph one coming next. Before they say we'll be in their big one yet, that will come soon. Anyway, how could you top something like the original Frosty? Well, they added more to the story, I guess. The narrator this time is Andy Griffith, pretty much acting like Jimmy Durante did in the original. Anyway, a year or so after the first special, Frosty voiced again by Jackie Berman, is pretty sad due to that he hasn't kept his promise to kids to come back. But since it's going to be cold in whatever the hell this city is called town, he decides to go off and make due to his word. When he arrives, Jack Frost, voiced by Paul Fries, is there, getting pretty jealous that Frosty is seen as the best thing in winter, even though it's Jack that helps make it happen. And it's funny when the kids call Jack a bragger when they and the narrator brag about Frosty all the damn time. Boy, he's just a big bragger. Yeah, Frosty's lots more fun. Yeah, winter's no fun without Frosty. Hey, Frosty was still the fastest belly whopper in the world. Anyway, one day the kids notice that Frosty is pretty lonely, so they have an idea to make him a wife who they name Crystal, voiced by Shelley Winters. Get it? She's brought to life by the power of love, it seems, and the rest of the special is them slowly about to get married, with Jack Frost trying to ruin it and be on top again. The story is alright for it being half an hour, but that leads to problems. It usually leads to stuff like two second conflicts after where I cut off. For example, Jack Frost is able to blow off Frosty's hat, turn him back into a regular snowman again. But as soon as that happens, Crystal kisses him and he's alive again. But then Jack throws the hat and Frosty gets it back, so what was the point? Yet it did spawn my favorite line. What? Oh, that's impossible! Isn't it? Good question. The animation is okay, pretty much like Twas the Night Before Christmas, kind of mixed with the original Frosty's animation. The songs are, dear god, bad. Just the many variations they do of Frosty's Snowman is pretty damn annoying. The only other song is Winter Wonderland, get it? But it's the best one they have. Overall, it's a good way to follow up with the story. Not as good, but not bad either. May all your winters be wonderful. And, and Frosty, Frosty too! <laughs> 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 <laughs>